welcome back thank you for joining me for a, another video all right so before i get started i want to show you guys the dried results of the last painting that i did it dried absolutely perfectly so here it is far away the whole piece and i'll bring you guys in for a close-up so you can see all the shimmer i can't see what i'm doing all the shimmer in the this is my favorite part right here I gotta go over here now because I can't see what I'm doing look at that so there's the antique copper in here antique copper look at that shimmer oh I love it and then the end here I'm so glad I ended up blowing this part out so that is the dried results it is a 12 by 36 inch canvas it is available for purchase for anyone who is interested in this piece. You can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. It still needs a top coat of crystal resin. All right, you guys saw that intro for the um, fluid art experience workshops. That is coming up. There's about five weeks, just under five weeks before the event is happening. That is November 17th. 18th and 19th I will be in Dallas Texas so time is running out guys if you are planning on coming book those tickets all right so go to fluidartexperience.com for all the information there's you know dinner parties Q&A's uh, you know all kinds of stuff that's happening along with the painting classes happening as well so check out the website for all the information and book your tickets all right so today's video since i loved those and i'm not much of a brown person but i really really loved that terra rosa and that red oxide color so i'm gonna do something similar and i'm gonna show you guys that in a second let me set myself up and let's get started all right everybody now before i get started i totally forgot to mention and show you um i do have the dried and resin results of the blooms that I did with Lisa uh, about a week or so ago. Um, but unfortunately, I can't show you the beautiful shimmer with these, you know, studio lights here. So stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to take these outside and I'm going to show you how they shimmer in the sunlight because you just really can't see any of it. Um, uh, with these studio lights so stick around to the end of the video and you'll get to see those in the sunlight and check out how they shimmer they are eight inch rounds and they are available for purchase if you are interested all right so uh today i'm working on a canvas size i have never worked on before why because michael's never sold them before they are a new size that michael's now carries um at least here in canada so they are a, it is a 14 by 18 inch canvas. It's a new size that they just put up on the website. They've put two new sizes up from what I know. They may have put more, but, uh, and the other size is a 14 by 14. So I'm super excited about the 14 by 14 inch gallery wrapped. Now, if only they would do 16 by 16 and then I'd be a happy camper, but I'm really happy about these. They're very hard to find because they didn't have much. And I literally cleared Michael's out of the six that they had in stock um but anywho 14 by 18 inch now the color i'm using for the base is a made up color that i have done if you are a follower and you have watched my smoky color split series um you saw me do the taupe color split so i really liked that color that i had made um i'll put that video up here for those of you who want to watch that one but this is a mixture of Van Dyke Brown, Titanium White, and a drop, and I mean literally a pea-sized drop or two of uh, Oxide Black. So the majority of this in here is actually Titanium White, um, and then the Van Dyke Brown, and then a drop or two of Black to get this taupey color. So that is going to be my base color. And then the colors I'm going to use for the blowout are going to be a mixture. And I still haven't figured out how I'm going to do this yet. But let me tell you the colors. 
I'm going to start, okay, I really contemplated whether I should throw Van Dyke Brown in there, but I think I'm going to leave it out. Um, so I'm going to start with Pearl Deep Brown by Arteza, and then, of course, the Terra Rosa by Pebeo. Then I have Antique Copper by Folk Art. Then the Red Oxide by Golden. And then... I have bronze by Arteza, but then I had to add another color because I don't like ending with a metallic or a shimmer on the top. I always like to put a matte color, like one of these in be on the top. So I kind of made my own color. Um, I really liked the orange in the piece I showed you guys in the intro, you know, the big one. Um, but I didn't really want a bright orange in this dark color palette. So what I did, was I put, I put Vermilion by Amsterdam. So that was the orange I used in the last painting, but I didn't really want to put it in here. So I put it in this cup and then I added a drop or two of black, but too much black ended up going in here. So I had to keep adding Vermilion, um, but don't put very much black in here. But I ended up with this like brownish kind of color burnt umber maybe like a burnt sienna i'm not even sure what to call it but i ended up with that so i'm gonna put that on the top or maybe i might do this yeah because i really like the terra rosa so yeah and then somewhere in between all of this i'm going to add a smidgen of my 24 karat gold by deco art because i really love the cells that this creates so Okay, we're going like this, like this. All right, yes, I'm actually glad I put the Terra Rosa at the top. That just makes more sense. Um, yeah, okay, well, it is what it is. We'll find out what it looks like when it looks like it. So in the meantime, I'm gonna flood my canvas and I shall be right back. All right, everybody, the canvas is flooded. Now, I the problem when you're mixing your own special color is you have to make sure you have enough for your canvas and for your edges when you're done. Um, and I have barely any left. So my sides aren't perfectly covered at this point like I normally would cover them because I need to save this little extra bit for the sides to touch up when I'm done with the blowout. So keep that in mind, if you are making your own color, make sure you make enough of it or else it's going to be a problem, all right? Now, um, I'm gonna do my regular just design with the wispy, but I didn't know if I should just do sections of colors like I did in the last one or just literally put all the colors on top. So I think I'm just gonna go for all the colors and see what happens. So I'm not really sure. And the other thing that I have um, done here is this is a smaller-ish canvas. And typically I wouldn't add more than six colors, five to six. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it might be a bit much. We shall see. Um, but it is what it is. I want to try it out. And I don't have a squeeze bottle for this little guy and it really is frustrating because it's so hard to add the right amount of paint when you don't have these lowly Vefi squeeze bottles. I love my squeeze bottles. People ask me how long does the paint last in these bottles and my answer to that is uh, years. It lasts years. I have artist loft paints that I don't even use anymore from over three years ago and they are sometimes I'll use some of them like the metallic cobalt blue by artist loft uh, and they work perfectly fine because these bottles are airtight and they keep the paint from drying up or any of that okay I think I'm going to add the 24 karat gold in here but a very slim thin smidgen of a line you see how little I'm putting on here 
I do not want it to take over. And plus there's a lot of shimmer in here already as it is. All right, now we've got the bronze by Arteza. Yeah, there's a lot of color on here, lots of color. And this should be interesting to see how this is gonna blow out and what it's gonna look like when it's dry on this taupey base. All right, let's pop the bubbles. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna use my flower hair dryer. I'm gonna start in this center here and fill in my negative space over here and then continue my way out. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a quick second because I'm not seeing a lot of my Terra Rosa in here even though I put it on the end last. So I'm going to add more because I really want to see this color come out. I'm seeing a lot of the red oxide but not a lot of the Terra Rosa. So I'm just gonna pop the bubbles on that real quick and let's keep going. Okay, first off, I love this piece and I love the colors. Now, do you notice the difference between up here where I added the, more of the Terra Rosa and then down here, the initial blowout where you can barely see the Terra Rosa. So good thing I ended up putting it on the top because originally I had it down here at the bottom. If I had put it second, in my layering, you'd probably never see it at all. So I love this. I'm loving this. Now the red oxide is um, pretty dominant in this piece down here, which is fine because like, I mean, these are fall type colors. And you'll see in the close up that there is a beautiful overlay of shimmer on the gold in here. Now there's, I don't think there's anything on this that I want to fidget with. I'm so glad I stopped and I added more of the Terra Rosa because it would have been completely lost and I would have been pretty disappointed with that. Um, just gonna make this base bubble dis disappear and over here as well. Okay, and that's it. I'm not touching anything else, so I'm going to fix up my edges. I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close-up. All right, everybody, so I fixed my edges. I've already gone ahead and scraped the drips, and let me show you guys this close-up. Uh, this should be very interesting when it dries because it is obviously going to dry a lot darker, but I'm really loving this color palette. And I'm again, I'm so glad I ended up stopping and adding a little more of the Terra Rosa in there because it really made a difference on the top half of this painting. So let me turn the lights off because we know this thing is going to shimmer like crazy. All right, the flash is on. It is an insanely sunny day outside today. 
I think this is our hottest day of October. Um, it's supposed to be like 20 today, which is not normal for us here in Canada in the middle of October. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a gorgeous day. Look at that shimmer. Loving so much shimmer in this. Loving this. This is going to be nice when it dries and there is a top coat of crystal resin on here. So this is why I add the 24 karat gold into almost all my paintings because it really, really does make a difference. Um, even though I have all these other shimmers in the painting as well, metallics, pearls, iridescence, whatever it may be, but the gold definitely just, you know, makes it perfect. There you have it, everybody. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. It is available for purchase for anyone who is interested. You know what to do. Email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. So that is it for me for now. Don't forget, check out the Fluid Art Experience website if you are interested in coming to learn live classes with me in Dallas, Texas. Check out the... Uh, website. The information is also listed in the description below. So that is it for me for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.